Hello everyone, the Mobile Philosopher here again. In this video, we're going to see how to use the search option in Gmail. The first thing we want to do is find the search box, which is here above. And more specifically, find the arrow, which is right here. As we can see right next to the blue magnifying glass here, it says show search options. We're going to click on that guy. And this will automatically give us options for searching within Gmail. Here we have all mail, inbox, stars, sent mail, drafts, chats, spam, trash, mail and spam and trash, read mail, unread mail. Let's just try a couple of these things first off to see. If I put unread mail and press the blue here, it's going to pop up the only unread email that's inside my inbox or anywhere for that matter. If we go back in here, we can try another one, which is red mail. Search on that one. And we're going to come out with all of the other emails that are within Gmail at that time. I can go back in here and put some other things in here. Let's try, for example, inbox. And then we're going to put a person. And we're going to press search on that guy. And that will bring up anyone in the inbox that is from this person, in this case, Adam. Now, we can try something else here. And instead of using the arrow here as we were doing, we're going to start using advanced search options, which is we're going to type them in in this area. So we're going to take this out. And now we're going to start typing these in. We're going to put, for example, file name, JPG, enter. And that will give me the only, the only email that has a type of JPEG attachment to it. Or I can be more general and put has and then attachment. I can click on these guys, enter, and this will come out again with something that has an attachment. So this gives us a lot of advanced options that we can also combine. I can put a space here and put file name. Okay, and then JPG will come out again with this, or I can put another space and put from, and then I can put anything else that I want within this type of thing. Or I can get rid of the from and just put the name. Enter. And it will come out once again here. For example, I can put it here, for example, just Adam. And these will come out once again. So I can combine search options here to make it very specific as long as I put a space after each search option. So I can put file name, JPEG, there's a space here, another space, and I can put as many as I want. Now, how do we know what options we can use? Very simple. If I go to a new tab and start putting in advanced search, this is already going to hop out here, search options in Gmail in this case. We're going to come out again and press enter on that one. And the, normally the first or second option is going to have our advanced search options. Here I can go in here and find that I have many, many options to choose from in order to search for something more efficiently. For example, I here have from, to, subject, or, a hyphen to exclude messages, label, has, we've already seen, list, file name, quotes. These are very good. If you know exactly what you're looking for in regards to a sentence or a word, you can put it in quotation marks and find that thing exactly. Parentheses. Specify terms that shouldn't be excluded. The in, we have the label again. The is, we have the has again. CC and BCC, we have after, before, older, newer for dates. Older than, newer than. Deliver to, we can search by circles. We can search by size. And here we have one megabyte or one, uh, one million bytes here. Larger, smaller, and then we have other things here that are much more specific. So this gives us plenty of options to choose from in order to really finally find that email that constantly evades us within Gmail. I hope this has been useful, and until the next video, this is the Mobile Philosopher. Take care.